Good morning, everyone. So I am uh, Accenture's Digital Director for Accenture Innovation, but I have been so for two months and a half. My background is that's led me to this role is uh, a bit of a, I'll give you a, a brief synopsis because I think it's applicable. I started as a web designer and then a web developer and then started taking on an interest in user experience. And then I dabbled in a bit of back-end development as well as front-end development before taking on a technical director role. And then as I had a technical director role, I was get, engaging more with clients. And then I, I took on more of a client service and strategy uh, role um, and then decided to do an MBA where I am two and a half months away from finishing my dissertation on uh, a subject around leadership and digital innovation. And I, I've taken the time to introduce myself because I'd like to think, if nothing else, that it's, it's, um, it shows that innovation and is, is a, a philosophy that you embrace. It's not a task that you do. It's not an MVP or a proof of concept that you build and then, and then you're innovative. It's a culture. It's, it's a, a way of life for your organization. Now, it's a bit of a, of a difficult a thing to embrace for many people because most people will associate innovation with risk and that's not wrong. It implies doing something new. It implies doing something you haven't been done before and that can make some people in your organization a little bit uncomfortable. So one of the things that if you were to join my panel that I'd like to discuss is the topic that some academics refer to as psychological safety. So how do you and get your, you and your team to be in a place where you feel comfortable taking that chance? How do, you, how do you engage with your senior stakeholders to get them a little bit more comfortable? And in doing so, we'll, we'll have a look at maybe some leadership models that are a little bit different than what we've been used to up until now to try to mitigate some of that. We'll look at embracing multidisciplinary skills in our teams. And by all means, technical skills are incredibly important. But it isn't just technical skills, because let's not forget that technology is just a means. It's a way of communicating with people. And what we're really talking about is people. So maybe you might want to consider uh, anthropological or sociological skills, particularly if you're engaging in social media. And I think we'll take some time as well to look at where you, as you, each of you, feel that the struggles are. In my experience in nonprofit, I understand that some of it is at times through the regulatory part of your organization, or it might be convincing some stakeholders that the skills really aren't there. But I, I'm looking for this, this panel to be driven by you and your own personal needs. And I think that's, in a brief summary, I think I've kept to time, um, what I hope we can cover if you join me. Thank you. Thanks a lot.